Okay, so now we're going to install Kali Linux. Uh, Kali is a little funny. Um, it's already pre-packaged ready. So we are going to go to where the Kali Linux ISO is. Should look something like this. And all you got to do is just double click the OVA on the Kali Linux one. Boom, Kali Linux, Debian, everything's, uh, we're going to use guided. So, what happened was it was an expert mode, so we use the guide, guided. It has everything set up already, uh, where you want it. We're going to do this, hit finish. It's going to import the Kali Linux into it with all the tools and everything you need. Uh, there's a few setup that we have to do to um, get up and running. All right, so Kali Linux has been imported in. A few settings that we have to change. Let's just check the about direction, the passwords, system. Let's give it a little bit more memory. Processor. Let's get a little bit more processor for now. Uh, we're going to network, and we're going to be on NAT network, the network that we created earlier on our Windows. And it looks like we're good. And then we can just start it up. This is just a notification, so you can hit this to close all, you know, finish notification. Here's the Kali. Go hit enter. Uh, to choose the GUI. Uh, password for Kali it is on the description down here. It's Kali Kali by default. And everything looks good here. A uh, few things we got to do in the terminal is we're going to have to upgrade it or update it. So it's going to be sudo app update and then sudo app upgrade with a dash Y. It's going to ask for your password and it's going to install and update all the packages that's already pre-installed all right so it finally finished updating uh there's some stuff that fell uh which is fine but as long as you have it um fully updated and what we're going to do now is we're gonna just um, shut it down and the reason we're going to shut it down is that we want to take a snapshot. This is very important. So in case you messed up somewhere, you can always revert back to the original state before. So go and click here, do snapshot. Go and take it, and we're going to do update. And it's going to back up, and it's going to have its current state with the update in there. So that's it for the Kali.